Welcome to your Gold Market Update Charts of the Day for today, the 29th of August 2023. I hope your Tuesday has been good so far. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight we saw broad based gains in the US, about three to one advances versus decline, and some follow through from last week and Friday's positive session. US futures are just above neutral in the Asian session. Asian markets are generally positive so far. Following that strong Wall Street lead, ASX is up around about half a percent at this stage. European futures are pointed to a positive open and the VIX continues to edge lower, suggesting a little bit of market calming, but is it the calm before the stall? We have got some big data coming out towards the back end of the week. We did see the US dollar index move down from three month highs, slightly lower again in Asia. We are seeing some strength in the AUD, perhaps in anticipation of a higher inflation number than expected, which is released tomorrow morning. Gold edged high ends at three-week highs. Copper and oil are both range-bound, holding support. And likewise with Bitcoin, which is flatlining around that 26,000 little movement in Asia so far today. On the data front, not a busy day today, but that is going to change, of course, over the next few days. We have had Japanese jobs out already. They were weak. We've got German and US consumer confidence numbers and US housing data due later. We've got Eurozone CPI, US PCE, and of course, it is Jobs Week in the US as well with non five payrolls. The headline act on Friday. So really big few days after today for markets to digest. So perhaps a little bit of caution may creep back in in tonight's US session. In the meantime, let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye. Uh, we're going to start with the Aussie yen. You can see here we've had a positive session in Asia again today, breaching yesterday's high but failing to hold over that R1 pivot level at 94.43. You can just see that last candle just poked its head above there and then just came back down again. So worthwhile waiting for a close above that. In the first instance, we may see a 25 pip move to the upside, but wouldn't surprise me if we get some momentum to see it up around 95. On the ASX, we're thinking that AGL may be worth a look. It is a fairly defensive stock, so whatever happens towards the back end of this week, this may be fine either way. We're at a critical price point at around about 11.20 today in trading. This corresponds to previous resistance levels. And a move up could see us in the first instance up around about this 11.70 level, perhaps even to retest $12. And if it does so, that would be a very healthy return of around about 6.9%. Want to keep an eye on, but it does seem prudent to wait until we have a breach of 11.21. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.